Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the molar solubility of iron 2 hydroxide, otherwise known as ferrous hydroxide, at two different pHs. First at pH 8, and secondly at pH 10. First, we want to write down the relevant equilibrium, which starts with iron 2 hydroxide as a solid, and then a small portion of it dissolves, forming iron 2 plus ion, ferrous ion, and two OH minuses, hydroxide ion. Next, we want to write down the expression for the equilibrium constant, which goes by the special name of Ksp for the solubility product. And the products are iron 2 plus ion and hydroxide. So we multiply the concentrations of these two ions. And then we recall that since there is a coefficient of 2 in front of hydroxide, that the concentration of hydroxide is squared in the equilibrium constant expression. Also recall that by convention, in the equilibrium constant, the products are in the numerator and the reactants would be in the denominator. But here recall we have the special case that whenever we have a pure solid or liquid, that their concentration, since it doesn't change, is not reflected in the equilibrium constant expression. The value of this equilibrium constant is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 14, which tells us, by being such a small value, that the iron 2 hydroxide is only sparingly soluble. Now we want to look at the case where the pH is equal to 8, as if it's been buffered. Recall that we have a convenient relationship at 25 degrees centigrade that the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. And since we see that the pH is equal to 8, this tells us that the pOH is equal to 6. Also recall that the definition of the pOH is such that the pOH is the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide ion. And we see the parallels between the definition of the pOH and the pH. We notice that the pOH in this case is equal to 6. Now for convenience, we're going to multiply each side of this equation by minus 1. And that tells us that the log of the concentration of hydroxide ion is equal to minus 6. Now we are going to take the step of raising each side of the equation as a power of 10. And the reason we do this is we can utilize an important property of logarithms that 10 to the log of x is simply equal to x. So this is our property of logarithms that we need to employ in this particular equation. So once we do that, 10 to the log of the concentration of OH minus is simply the concentration of OH minus. And then we see that this is equal to the value of 10 to the minus 6. So we've determined that at pH 8, the concentration of hydroxide ion is equal to 10 to the minus 6 power. Next, in our equation up here, we set OH minus to the value of 10 to the minus 6, because that's what we determined from the pOH. Notice that in this particular equation, we have OH minus squared. So that tells us that the OH minus squared term is equal to 10 to the minus 6 squared, which is 
10 to the minus 12th. At the same time, we are going to let x equal the concentration of iron 2 plus iron. So now substituting into the KSP expression, we replace the concentration of iron 2 plus simply by x. We replace OH minus squared with the value of 10 to the minus 12. And we already know that the value of the KSP is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 14th power. So to solve for x, we simply need to divide each side of the equation by 10 to the minus 12th power. And this tells us that x is equal to 1.6. And then if we divide by powers of 10, we subtract. So we have minus 14 minus a minus 12, which is equal to 10 to the minus 2. So the concentration of iron 2 plus ion at equilibrium is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. But we also notice that for every one mole of iron hydroxide that dissolves, we get exactly one mole of iron 2 plus. So this tells us that the molar solubility of iron 2 hydroxide is exactly this value, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 2 molar at pH 8. Next, we look at the situation when the pH is equal to 10. Again, recall that we know that the pH plus the pOH is going to equal 14 at 25 degrees centigrade. Therefore, we can see immediately that the pOH is going to have a value of 4. So again, recall that the pOH is the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide ion. And this is all going to be equal to 4. Again, we're going to use our trick of multiplying each side of the equation by minus 1. So that gives us that the log of the concentration of hydroxide ion is going to be equal to minus 4. We can raise each side of this equation as a power of 10. And again, using the same property of logarithms that we had used before, 10 to the log of x is simply x. So 10 to the log of the hydroxide ion concentration is the hydroxide ion concentration. And the right-hand side, we just write down as 10 to the minus 4. So this tells us that at a pH of 10, the concentration of hydroxide ion is equal to 10 to the minus 4 power. So we have found that the concentration of hydroxide ion in this situation is equal to 10 to the minus 4 power. So this tells us that the concentration of hydroxide squared is going to be 10 to the minus 4 squared, which is simply 10 to the minus 8 power. Again, we're going to let x equal the concentration of iron 2 plus iron. So we can substitute into our KSP equation. In replacing iron 2 plus, we simply have x. For the concentration of hydroxide squared, we have 10 to the minus 8 power. And we know that the KSP is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 14th power. To solve for x, we simply divide each side by 10 to the minus 8th power. And we get that x is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6 power. And again, since we get one iron 2 plus ion for each molecule of iron 2 hydroxide that dissolves, that the concentration of 
iron 2 plus at equilibrium is equal to the molar solubility of iron 2 hydroxide. So this tells us that the molar solubility of iron 2 hydroxide is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. One last point, we notice that the molar solubility of iron 2 hydroxide decreased significantly on the pH going from 8 to 10. And this makes complete sense in terms of Le Chatelier principle. Because as we increase the pH, we're also increasing the concentration of hydroxide. As we increase the concentration of one of the products, it shifts the equilibrium to the left and thereby uh, reduces the concentration of iron 2 plus uh, that's dissolved. So we decrease the molar solubility whenever we increase the pH. So here we see a very clear pH dependence on the solubility product for iron 2 hydroxide. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.